every year for many across the world, drought is a real problem. It causes serious health risk of dehydration. Drought is no laughing matter. Cloud seeding offers a potential solution to this and the wondrous thing is it can be used literally worldwide, well theoretically. Cloud seeding is process of spreading chemicals like dry ice to forcefully make clouds undergo precipitation to form frozen ice drops that will defrost and become water droplets as they fall. The seeding is done from the earth or more effectively by plane. Does it work? The issue and skepticism with whether this process does indeed work is that it's carried out on clouds that are showing signs of potential rainfall and one cannot be sure as to whether they would have rained without the encouragement. Success has been claimed in a wide range of dry countries including Australia and the UAE with the latter claiming they formed 52 storms in the Abu Dhabi desert. What are the benefits of cloud seeding? If it does indeed work, those areas with little rainfall and the risk of drought could be saved as they actually still have water held in the air which could be made to generate ice crystals and create rainfall. It then binds to the chemicals which in turn crystallizes and forms the aforementioned crystals. Who invented cloud seeding? Vincent Schaeffer carried out the first successful experiment of his idea in 1946. On behalf of the General Electric Company, Vincent managed to generate rainfall and in lab conditions managed to create a snowstorm. The scientific benefits and belief in cloud seeding was huge during the 1960s. In the US, a project named Storm Fury was undertaken to try and weaken cyclones. At the time, they thought it was worthy enough to test this method on a range of Atlantic hurricanes before they realized the system was ineffective. This was due to the fact that the hurricanes themselves just don't contain enough water for the chemicals to bind to and have that much impact. Cloud seeding works in reverse too. The most impressive claim of recent years has to come from China who said that in 2008 Beijing Olympics, they used this process in reverse to actually stop rain from happening and keep it dry over the event. So there we have it, not only have we created driverless cars and self-regulating smart homes, we have now quite literally harnessed the power of rainfall, well potentially. Whatever the score and however valid these claims are, the process has been tested and it has worked whether it was going to rain anyway remains a mystery but it's still very impressive and rather mind-blowing. The potential practical applications of such a process would be revolutionary. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.